Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to show you how to configure UiPath Assistant and get that orchestrator URL and machine key. To my left, I have UiPath Studio. To my right, I have UiPath Orchestrator, and right in the middle, connecting the two, I have UiPath Assistant. And if I actually look here in the orchestrator settings for UiPath Assistant, you notice that I need to put in a URL and a machine key. And the question is, how do you get that? Because without that, you can't connect from UI Studio to UiPath Orchestrator. And for that matter, you can't run processes on your local machine that are managed from UiPath Orchestrator. Well, let me show you how all of this is done. Now, by the way, UiPath Assistant, it is installed as part of UiPath Studio. So if you downloaded the UiPath Studio trial, and you installed it, you'll find the UiPath Assistant in that same folder, just in case you were looking for it. Well, in order to get this URL and machine key, the first thing you have to do is log into UiPath Orchestrator. So I've just registered, but I haven't done anything inside of the UI. Now, by the way, you can get to this by typing in platform.uipath.com and then logging in. And you'll need to create a new orchestration service as soon as you log in. So I click that Create New button, choose the option to add a tenant, give it a name, I'll call it the Insight Service, Click the Assign Licenses. Be very grateful to UiPath for giving me a couple of unattended and attended licenses. And then that service kicks off. When the service is created, you then click on the blue link for Orchestrator. And then you get moved into a new user interface for the UI Orchestrator. From here, you need to configure UI Orchestrator in order to work with your UI Assistant, UiPath Assistant, and your UiPath Studio. The way you do that is configure a robot. But before you configure the robot, you have to change the folder pattern from modern to classic. So notice that it's gone now from classic to modern and modern to classic. You need to toggle between those. And if you want to follow these steps, you need to use the classic folder configuration. When you've made that change, you go down to Robots. And in Robots, you just click this button to add a new standard robot. It'll ask you a few things and it'll say, well, what machine are you running this on? Right? Like when orchestrators in the cloud, but these processes run on physical machines, and I'm going to use my local machine. I'm going to open up the command prompt, type in who am I? And it says, my local machine is named ThinkStation and my username is Visitor. And so the name that I have to type in here is ThinkStation. Don't be cute. Don't write anything in other than your name, the name of the, the actual computer you want to run this on. Now, there's other steps to create this computer. If you use this screen when you're creating a robot to create the computer, I think it's better. It's safe steps. But you notice it kind of complains. It says, hey, I can't find any machine named ThinkStation. Do you want me to provision one? And you say, yes, yes, I do. Then you give your robot a name. You can give it a description if you so please. You specify that it's going to be an unattended robot. We have one license on the studio trial for an unattended robot. And then again, it asks for the domain username. The domain username comes from the who am I command in the command prompt. That's ThinkStation Visitor. And again, Visitor is my username. ThinkStation is the name of the computer. And then you have to type in your password for your local machine. This isn't the cloud password. This isn't the UiPath orchestrator password. This is the password on the physical machine where the process is going to run that maps to that user. So you have to type in that password there, click create, and then this ends up creating the robot. The next step is to go into environments. People always forget this step because environments, I don't think the contrast is very good on the tab up there. You have to quickly create an environment and I'll call it the insights environment. It asks you, do you want to associate the robot you just created with that environment? And you say, of course I do. That's why I created the robot and that's why I'm adding the environment. Now, after all of this is done, you can click on the machines link. Now there'll be this machine already configured, which is useless, just delete it. But you can see ThinkStation, which was configured in that step that I just did. 
ThinkStation has been configured and it's even been configured with a machine key. And this is where the machine key element comes in. So I click copy machine key and then I go back to the orchestrator configuration settings. Now again, that's from UiPath Assistant, which you can find in your UiPath Studio installation folder. Here I click the cog wheel and click on orchestrator settings. That then brings up this window. It may put you on general, there's keyboard shortcuts and there's settings here. And then I paste the machine key in. Now notice it also wants the URL. The URL is everything preceding orchestrator underscore in the URL on UiPath Orchestrator. So I'm going to come over to UiPath Orchestrator, copy everything before orchestrator underscore, go back to the orchestrator URL, paste that in, and then click connect. And when I connect, I'm now connecting from my local machine, my local computer where UiPath Studio is installed, to the cloud to the UiPath orchestrator in the cloud. That connection is successful. It's also licensed. I can now go back to UiPath Studio where I have this Hello World application created. And it's just a simple Hello World application. It doesn't do anything more than print out Hello World when it runs. But if I click Publish, now again, don't click the drop down on Publish because it will likely be grayed out. Just click on the heart of Publish. I click to publish this file. One of my options is to publish to Orchestrator, which I just configured using UiPath Assistant. I click Publish. It says it was published successfully. I can come over here and take a look. I can move into this Packages folder underneath Machines, and you'll see that UiPath.HelloWorld, in fact, has been pushed from my local machine a few seconds ago. So this isn't razzle-dazzle. A few seconds ago, that was pushed up by me clicking on that Publish button. And so now I've configured a link through UiPath Assistant from my local machine to the cloud computing environment. Now from here, if you really want to get courageous, you could actually run this HelloPath application from Orchestrator in the cloud on my local machine. All you have to do is go down to Processes, add a new process, select UiPath Hello World, give it a display name, maybe even be kind and give it a description, Click Create. So this creates a process that can be run from UiPath Orchestrator. And then you can click the Play button. Choose the Insights Robot, which is the one we just created. Click Start. It sends the command to the local machine. And notice, Hello World just ran. That was the cloud connecting to my desktop computer and starting that process on my local machine. And so now Orchestrator in the cloud is controlling processes that are running on my local desktop. And that is pretty cool. And there you go. That's how easy it is to configure UiPath Assistant. If you enjoyed this tutorial, why don't you head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. And we've got lots of great enterprise software tutorials there. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.